So now that we have covered uh, input resistance or input impedance, we have to talk about output impedance. The nice thing about this is that, well, the output of the common base is actually uh, sensed from the collector side of the transistor. Therefore, uh, well, it's pretty much similar to, in terms of impedance at least, it's pretty much similar to common emitter, right? Because over there we had the output connected to the collector. So I expected an R out that is very similar to what I had in the common emitter. Again, if I want to actually draw the, uh, the small signal model, I have my R pi, I have my GM V pi, this being V pi. I have RC connected to ground. And by the way, this is AC ground because it, it's basically replacing VCC. Now on the base side, I have a DC voltage, so that's also ground. And then since I want to calculate the R out, I'm going to apply some V test and look at what is I test. Knowing that uh, I have turned off my input. So turning off this V in at the input, it means that we short it to ground. Okay, we short the two sides of it together since the other side is ground. So, well, we have connected the emitter to ground, right? Now, immediately looking at this circuit, I can see that VPI is actually equal to zero because, well, it's between ground and ground. So there's no voltage across this resistor. So VPI is zero, therefore GM VPI is equal to zero. GM VPI equal to zero, it's a current source, so it means that it's going to be open circuit. So this is, again, I've mentioned this before, this is a very common mistake that people do that whenever they see oh the current is zero so let's remove let's replace it with a with a short circuit zero current means there's no current in this branch that means that this branch is open right with a short circuit you might still have current with open circuit you don't have any current right so open and then well uh, by the way um, let's actually add the ro because we didn't say that there's no early effect so i might have ro here so um, none of our discussions will change, by the way, with the RO. So GMV pi is, is gone. So I have an RC and RO in parallel with each other. Therefore, I can say that VT is going to be RC in parallel with R0 times IT. Therefore, my R out is going to be RC in parallel with R0, right? Now, if no early effect, then well, R0 would have been infinity, therefore the R out would have been just RC. Okay, so nothing new here, nothing surprising here. Everything is pretty much similar to what we had with common emitter amplifiers, right? So like looking into the collector of uh, the transistor, if there's nothing at the emitter, because, well, if there isn't something at the emitter, we had the emitter degenerated transistor. And then you, uh, like the last slide of last week lecture, we discussed about the resistance seen, uh, basically looking into the collector when there is a resistor in the emitter. But in here, because we, there was no resistor in the emitter, the, re, the, the resistance looking down here is just going to be R0. And that R0 to ground is going to be in parallel with this RC to ground. By the way, we are talking about AC ground, right? So this is AC ground. Um, this is already written that it's AC ground. The emitter, well, we have grounded it because we wanted to calculate the R out. So there was a V in here that we have grounded it. And then the R naught is between collector and emitter. And since emitter is actually ground, then we have this ground as well. Okay.